Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we found the show Stranger Things and it's got just the right amount of this and that in it. And honestly, I really like it, man. So we're we're searching for Will, basically. Yeah. Guys, we really need to find them. Uh, please like the video, man. The more you like the video, that will definitely help us get resources to go find uh, Will Byers. Are you guys ready? Yep. I'm not. Let's talk about it some more. <laughs> uh, the thing I'm really liking about this show is the mystery of like, where did Eleven come from? I like how all these kids are trying to adjust with the changing dynamics, basically, in their friendships. Right. You know, because one friend's missing, so everyone's dealing with that. Uh, there's a girl introduced to Mike, so it's just a fun show, man. It's a fun, cute show, and I'm really liking the retro '80s vibe to it. So it's like science meets supernatural meets Saved by the Bell or something like that. Something kind of like that, man. That's <laughs> yeah. pretty uh, pop culture, pop culture relevant of you. So, all right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much, man. We do post the full uncut reactions over on Patreon. You don't have to do none of that sinking or none of that, man. Just go over there. And we, we definitely got it coming over there. And we got some other stuff too, man. Go check it out. But let's go. The flea and the acrobat. That's random. <laughs> right. Sneak in, yes. Go on ahead, Hopper. He hopped on in, didn't he? He sure did. Ooh, the wooden panel walls gotta go. He like blends in though, because he has like a brown jacket on. Nah, he needs a white one. But I know what you mean. Mm -mm. You're not worried you could come out like a gremlin? <laughs> like, They're gonna hide something. I'm... They're gonna put something like that in front of it, right? Persuade you from going in. Yeah, I'm not going. Hands up. Hands up. Whoa, 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 whoa. You forgot all the cameras, bud? Look, Dr. Brenner asked for me specifically. What's your name again? It's Jim Hopper. I've got Jim Hopper here. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Man. He's lucky I'd have got shot. Can I borrow this one? Yes. Hopper and Daredevil should fight. Hopper's dedicated to his craft. Drink. I don't know what to do. I know, I know. This whole time, I could feel him. He was so close. He was, was right there. I knew he was alive. Mm. Our hands, oh, that's the hole. Our hands. The wind blowing. God, like, I can't feel him anymore. Don't look at me like that. Like what? Like how everybody is looking at me like I'm out of my damn mind. Hey, you're not going to like this, but I think you need to seriously consider the possibility that all this is in your head. <gasps> hmm. That you would know, scare me head, too, though. though. Yeah. I mean, when something like this happens, you, your mind makes up stuff for you to cope, you know? I mean, Jesus, there's a funeral tomorrow for our little boy, and you're saying his body is fake. He's in the wall. I mean, how do you explain that? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. At least go talk to a shrink, or, or what about Pastor Charles or someone? Well, they can't help. Joyce, he just told me that Will is gone. You know, what else is there to do? Poor Joyce, <laughs> man. I mean, yeah, because. What can she do besides go try to hop inside of her drywall? But <laughs> that ain't gonna do nothing. And it looks like a weird stomach or something. Well, punch it. <gasps> oh, that's oh, there's Papa room. right there. Yeah. yeah. What was Will saying? Like home, but dark and empty. Empty and cold. Wait, did he say cold? I don't know. The stupid radio kept going in and out. Upside down. What'd <laughs> she say? Upside down. When Elle showed us where Will was, she put the board over. Remember? Upside down. Dark. Empty. Do you understand what he's talking about? No. Guys, come on, just think about it. She took us to his house, right? Yeah. And he wasn't there. But what if he was there? What if we just couldn't see him? What if he was on the other side? Oh, like what a different dimension or something? This is Hawkins. And this is where Will is. The Upside Down. Like the Veil of Shadows. That's so crazy, if you think about it. What the heck, man? That's mind-blowing, honestly. I mean, if this reality was represented by, like, the positive end of a battery, there'd be a negative end, right? The Upside Down. Yeah, but why is the Upside Down eating people? Because that's the rules there. Dungeons and Dragons. The Veil of Shadows <laughs> is a dimension that is a dark reflection or echo of our world. Oh, I thought oh and that's where he's at right there with the fog. 
Right. You know that? I thought this was gonna be multiverse, but I'm wrong. Yes. A plane out of phase place of monsters. It is right next to you and you don't even see it. Alternate dimension. How do we get there? We can't shadow walk. In real life, dummy. We can't shadow walk, but maybe she can. Shadow walk. Do you know how we get there? Oh my god. <laughs> They're like, she's useless. <laughs> hey, she let him that far. Mike's a genius, though. I know. What the hell? Oh my gosh, Hopper, do not jump in that. Ooh. Don't do it, Hopper. It looks like seaweed or something. Oh my goodness. Is he gonna do it? Don't you need a hazmat suit? Scared me. Oh. Man, I don't jump often, but you got me. Let's go. <laughs> this show is kind of fun. This just scares the junk out of me, this show. <laughs> Yo, man, thank you guys for tuning in, hanging out with us. We are broadcasting live to the world right now. Stranger <laughs> Things. <laughs> Why you just got scared? So you're hyped now. You got an adrenaline rush. <laughs> you made me jump. You guys, you don't understand. It's the leg hairs. <laughs> she pulled out like 17 of them. Root and stem. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. We didn't even talk about how crazy that discovery just was. We'll talk about it after. I'm still. I'm still thinking about that. We in the acrobat. That would suck to be an acrobat and have a flea on you, though. That really would. Right, get you all messed up, all on your head. It's not what it looks hey, like. Hey, kid. What's going on? Your dad's uh, gonna stay here tonight on the couch. Yeah, I'm here as long as you need me, okay? What happened? That thing you saw before, did it come back? Jonathan, it's enough. You need to leave. Look, I know you're upset. We all are. You need to listen to me. Your mother is sick. Really sick. Yeah. You being here, you're just making things worse. Like worse. always. Yeah. She took down that wall with an axe. She said that Will was inside it, that he's talking to her. Uh, maybe he was. Your mom was half frozen to death when I got here. Trembling, scared out of her mind. You come in here and you start feeding into her hallucinations or whatever the hell you want to call it. You're going to push her right over the edge. You hear me? I'm on your side. I'm here to help. I'm gonna make things better around here for all of us. Oh, thank God you're here. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lonnie. Do me a favor, at the funeral tomorrow, just behave. He's already drinking. Uh, he's like, here's a fifth, Joyce. This will make it better. Take that down. It's inappropriate. <laughs> Dad, you're, you're choking me. Uh, supposed to be a little tight. Here we go. That's weird for them, because they know Will's not dead, and they're just gonna go to this. You can borrow my black heels if you want. The ones you wore to Kathy's birthday. I'm fine. She's trying like as a mom, but she's just so like uptight and stuff. You know what I mean? Like she's got to relax a little. Aww, buddy. Just wear it as like a bow tie. Time to go. Fear mm. not. This is very uplifting funeral music. Like she can't even believe it. She was disgusted. So young, comfort in the truth of scripture, and it's around Will. Just wait till we tell Will that Jennifer Haynes was crying at his funeral. Shh. <laughs> but what was that they're burying? You know, that was a weird thing. I, it was a builder bear. We don't. Yeah, it was a definitely I'm so, a builder bear. So sorry. Thank you so it's much. It's got the sense of heart. Everything in it. The voice box clicker. Open it. Open it. Wonder Red. Will the Wise is back. What's that shooting out of his cane? <laughs> Fireballs. I couldn't find the red crayon, so that's why he's green. Oh. Can't he just, you know, outsmart the bad guys? Most of the time, yeah. Totally. But sometimes the bad guys are smart, too. So he needs the fireballs. Oh, yeah. To burn them to a crisp. All right, well, I don't know who's been raising you, but I'm going to get you some new crayons. Doesn't that remind you of Nolan because and his drawings? Like shooting mm. cabbages. My thing is, he's been drawing on that for at least 30, 40 minutes. 
What the heck? He said, I'm going to defend this single wide. Hey, he's got a nice little spot by the way. I know. It. Underrated. What in the world? He's looking for a tracker or like a spot device. A microphone. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He's not gonna find one, right? Bingo! Dang. Hopper knows that he's on the right path now. Because mm -hmm. they're gunning for him. Where? Where's the bus? Are you there? Can you hear us from here? Mom! Brenner. I can hear it! Her mom is coming! She was there. Big Brother is always listening. That's the woods where they found Will's bike, and that's my house. It's all so close. Yeah. I mean, it's all within a mile or something. Whatever this thing is, it's not traveling far. You want to go out there? And if we do see it, then what? We kill it. With what? I know, right? You got a gun? What are you doing? Just give me a second. You got a spell? I got a camera that's broken. <laughs> are you serious? You want to find this thing and take another photo? Yell at it? What, you can tell someone, but they're not going to believe you. Your mom would. She's been through enough. She deserves to know. Yeah, and I'll tell her when this thing is dead. If you like that girl so much, don't be trying to bring her out in the woods to hunt this thing. I don't thing. know what in the world caused it. Mr. Clark says he's never seen anything like it. Apparently, some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> a chill but funny comment <laughs> uh oh so Will was off the chain with the radio frequency today apparently Mr. Clark oh hey there <laughs> hey boys what's up where is That's you money better. man these aren't real little wafers so you know how in Cosmos Carl Sagan talks about other dimensions like <laughs> beyond our world yeah sure theoretically right theoretically how do we travel there you guys have been thinking about Hugh Everett's Many Worlds interpretation, haven't you? Well, basically, there are parallel universes, infinite variations of it, which means there's a world out there where none of this tragic stuff ever happened. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. Oh. We were thinking of more of an evil dimension, like the Veil of Shadows. You know the Veil of Shadows? An echo of the material plane where necrotic and shadow magic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How would we travel there, theoretically? Well, picture an acrobat. Here we go. Tight on a tightrope. And the tightrope is our dimension. You can move forwards or backwards. But what if right next to our acrobat, there is a flea? Now the flea can also travel back and forth, just like the acrobat, right? The flea can also travel this way, along the side of the rope. He can even go underneath the rope. Upside down. Exactly. We can't go upside down? No. Well, is there any way for the acrobat to get to the upside down? Well, you'd have to create a massive amount of energy. Get more than humans are currently capable of creating, mind you. Rip the space out of some kind of tear in time and space. Mm -hmm. And then. Wormhole. Oh, this is some interstellar. It's always some interstellar. You create a doorway. Like a gate? Sure. But what if this gate already existed? It would disrupt gravity, the magnetic field, our environment. It might even swallow us up whole. Hey. Science is neat. <laughs> But I'm afraid it's not very forgiving. That's yeah, a cool teacher. They just realize their teacher don't know what the, he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right. you know what I mean? He only knows a little bit. <laughs> hey, Chief. Hello. Hey. Hello. Jesus, Chief, you all right? What are you doing? Here? <laughs> we tried calling, but yeah, the phone's dead. Hey, so Bev Mooney came in this morning all upset, said that Dale and Henry went hunting yesterday and they didn't come back home. She thought they were on another <laughs> binger, but she's not so sure now. I think this whole Will Byers thing has everybody on edge. Where was this? It was at the station. No, no, where did Henry and Dale go hunting? Oh, uh, out near Curly. Markwood. What? Hmm. Okay. The Hobbit. You go back to the station, I'll take care of this, all right? Are you sure? Uh, they found Barbara's car. What? Seems she ran away after all. Stadies found it late last night at a bus station. Funny, right? Mm -hmm. Keep doing our job for us. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. They just keep like, figuring it all out. 
Dusty off his meds again? He's been spending too much time with Joyce Bias. <laughs> She's making that man crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You want to freeze to death all winter? I told you not to take these down. They were in the way, babe. How long are you going to keep those up? I mean, really. For as long as it takes, Lonnie. You know, it's a shame what they've done to this I don't family. Like him. What? The Sattler Company. If my son was missing, I wouldn't want to just look around. I haven't even buried him yet. Put him in the ground. That's crazy. It would take a lot of energy to build a gate like this. Do you know where the gate is? Dustin, what are you doing? Dustin! Dustin! I, I need to see your compasses. What? Your compasses. Oh, All disruptions. Your compasses right now. Disruptions. You watch your magnetism. Oh. They're some smart kids, What's boy. What's exciting about this? Well, they're all facing north, right? Yeah, so? Well, that's not true north. What do you mean? Are you both seriously this dense? <laughs> <laughs> that's true north. So what you're saying is the compasses are broken? Mm -mm. Do you even understand how a compass works? Do you see a battery pack on this? No. The needle's naturally drawn to the Earth's magnetic north pole. You can change the direction of a compass with a magnet. If there's the presence of a more powerful magnetic field, the needle deflects to that power. The gate would have so much power. Disrupt the electromagnetic Does field. L. Exactly. Meaning, if we follow the compasses north, they should lead us to the gate. It's not L, then. <laughs> it's the rip. The little gate that Hopper um. just came across. I think that hole right there is the rip in the space-time continuum that allows them to get to the um, upside down. You're probably right about that. Either that or it's definitely probably L. <laughs> <laughs> I thought L was messing him up <laughs> just because she's like so powerful. I don't know. Which has something to do with why Will can affect the lights. Maybe when subatomic particles pop out of existence, that's where they go. The upside down. Hey. It looks like the shining. Boy, girl, you ain't gonna do nothing with that junk. Oh. Whoa, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is are you doing? bad guys. <laughs> what are you doing? I hope that's not meant for me. No, oh, no. I was just <laughs> thinking about joining softball. Good luck. Listen, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I mean, even before you threatened me with a baseball bat. I mean, I was a total dick. Yeah, you were. Any news about Barbara? Parents heard from her, or? Man, Jonathan was doing all right. Why don't we catch a movie tonight, you know? Just kind of pretend everything's normal for a few hours. Second chance, Take Steve. Take those all records off the shelf. I sit and listen to them by myself. I yeah, just, he's I, talking I, about John Travolta, right? I don't right? think I can. Pulp I've Fiction guy? I've been really busy with this whole funeral thing and with my brother. I should go. Sorry. I'll call you later. Yeah. yeah. What was that little peg? Does she just feel bad or something? I guess she kind of likes him. She's just confused, I guess. She said, batter up, baby. <laughs> she got the split. We're here for the money! No! For the money! Admit! It was his funeral today. Do we have to do this right now? I can't believe I fell for this. I'm here to help, Joyce. To help? We could use that money for good. Oh, like, like maybe to, to pay off your debts? To pay for Jonathan to go to school. Oh, don't. Do that. Do what? Lie to me! I'm not lying to you! Yeah, well, where does he want to go? Where does Jonathan want to go to college? We get that money anywhere he damn well pleases! NYU, Lonnie! He's wanted to go to NYU since he was six years old! So then he goes to NYU! Get out! You need me here, Joyce. Oh, brother, mm -hmm. I have not needed you for a long time! She called her oh, mother. No. Look what happened. Don't you dare! At least I was here! Oh, come on, Joyce. Just look around at this place. The hell am I supposed to think? You're such a great mom. You're a mess. Maybe I, I mean, am I would a mess. think Maybe the same I'm thing. Crazy. Maybe I'm out of my mind. But God help me, I will keep these lights up until the day I die if I think there's a chance that Will's still out there. Get out of my house! Joyce just killed that. I'm about to cry. Yeah, that was a crazy scene. Guys, I just want to point out what makes what makes certain shows I feel like get to the big screen like this and makes M Mrs. October cry is because she was so impactful and passionate right there. And then how do you follow that? The only thing that you could possibly follow that with is the explosions of a gunfire. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's just such a good job by, you know, the director and stuff. It was incredible. I'm yeah. sorry to pause that. I just wanted to point that out. That was pretty brilliant the way they've done that. I mean, you suck. Oh, he's trying. You're supposed to hit the cans, right? You see the spaces in between the cans? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Good call. Yeah, I haven't shot one since I was 10. What? My dad took me hunting on my birthday. Made me kill a rabbit. I guess he thought it would make me into more of a man or something. I cried for a week. <laughs> I'm a fan of Thumper. Oh. I guess he and my mother loved each other at some point, but I wasn't around for that part. Just, uh, why not you? Don't ask him. I don't think my parents ever loved each other. My mom was young. My dad was older, but he had a cushy job. Money. They bought a nice house at the end of the cul-de-sac. Started their nuclear family. Okay, Nancy. Damn. Well, she can't swing a bat, but she can shoot a gap. Yeah. <laughs> she got one aim. shot Nancy over here. Tell me y'all. Hello? Hey. Jim? Yeah. Why are you calling me here? I told you not to call me. I know, I know, I know. I just wanted to just wanted to hear your voice. And uh I just want to say that um even after everything that happened, I don't I don't regret any of it. And those seven years, they were everything to me. Have you been drinking? No. Shh, honey. You know what, actually, I have been drinking. I'm sorry. Jim, I can't. Just take care of yourself, okay? Say hi to Bill for me. Are you sure? Oh, so that's the woman he had Sarah with? She done moved on, had another baby. It ain't gonna be her. She moved on. That's probably Joyce. Aw. I guess we'll never know. How do we know when we get to the gate? Uh, I think a portal to another dimension is gonna be pretty obvious. Y'all ain't gonna get that you close. She's acting weird. To the gate, maybe. I love their clothes. Except for they got Eleven looking like Annabelle. How far, Papa? Farther than we've ever gone before. To bath? Yes. Is that okay? Okay. Hmm. They look so uneasy. This ain't the bath. That thing on her head's waterproof. That's what I'm saying. This ain't no bath. Y'all are wildin'. It's like an apple product. Mm -hmm. Turn back. What? Why? I'm tired. Look, I'm sure we're almost there. Just hold on a little longer, okay? She doesn't want to say she's scared. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, she's bleeding. Don't blood make them things come out. Does it? It did in Barb's what? case. Oh, yeah, because yes, it yeah. dripped in the pool. You yeah, I, I forgot about that. Saying something. That's why you took my picture. I saw this girl, you know, trying to be someone else. But for that moment, it was like you were alone or, you know, you could just be yourself. That is such bullshit. I am not trying to be someone else. Just because I'm dating Steve and you don't you like what? him. Forget it. I just thought uh -oh. it was a good picture. He's actually a good guy. Uh, okay. He's not like that at all. He was just being protective. Don't take it so personally, okay? I don't like most people. He's in the vast majority. <laughs> I was actually starting to think that you were okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking... Maybe he's not the pretentious creep everyone says he is. Oh, I was just starting to think you were okay. I was thinking, she's not just another suburban girl who thinks she's rebelling by doing exactly what every other suburban girl does until that phase passes and they marry some boring one-time jock who now works sales exactly like their parents, who they thought were so depressing. Dang. He's over there speaking truths. I know, that was like that. Uh, I don't even know what to say. That was pretty epic, right? <laughs> yeah, she Jeez. got played like a fiddle. I am gonna murder. Mm. They done stumbled upon a junkyard. Yeah, I know. I feel like this is no good. Run into oh, a no. Cletus out here. We're headed back home. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Setting sun right there. We looped right back around. Why is this all on me? Because you're the compass genius. <laughs> what do yours say? This makes no damn sense. Maybe the gate moved. No, I don't think it's the gate. I I think it's something else screwing with the compasses. It's not a magnet. Oh. She's been acting weirder than normal. If she could slam doors in her mind, she could definitely screw up a That's compass. why she's bleeding. Why she she's been messing with the compass. Because she doesn't because want them to go traitor. there. She's a traitor. That's not what I Lucas, would say. what are you doing? You did it, didn't you? You don't want us to find Will. 
Lucas, come on, seriously, just leave her alone. Wait a minute. First blood. I knew it. Lucas, come on! I saw her wiping her nose on the tracks. <sighs> Man, she can't oh. lie to Mike. It's not safe. Oh. Because she knows for real. She's like, y'all don't want to go scuba diving the rest of your life. What the hell is going on, Hopper? They bugged my place. They put a microphone in the light. It's because I'm on to them and they know it. Who? I thought they might be watching you too. I don't know, the CIA, the NSA, Department of Energy, I don't know. You guys oh my ding, 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 ding. I, not... I went to the morgue last night, Joyce. It wasn't him. <laughs> Will's body was a fake. She knew it too. Yeah, Joyce says, screw them light bulbs in, baby. We gotta go. You were right. <sighs> yeah, now you gotta get stepdad out of here. She's been playing us from the beginning. That's not true. She helped us find Will. She could have just told us where the upside down was right away, but she didn't. She helped just enough so she could get what she wants, food and a bed. She's like a stray dog. Screw you, Lucas. No, screw you, Mike. Oh. You're blind, blind because you like that a girl's not grossed out by you. But wake up, man. Ooh. She knows where Will is. And now she's just letting him die in the upside down. Shut up. For all we know, it's her fault. We're looking for some stupid monster. But did oh. you ever stop to think that maybe she's the monster? I said, shut up! Ugh. Ugh. Stop! No! Oh, get off, you idiot! <laughs> Man, Lucas really ain't gonna like her now. Is he okay? <gasps> Lucas, you shut right? up! Lucas, Lucas, no way. Come on. Lucas, wake up! Come on, Lucas. Lucas! Why would you do that? No! Come on. What's wrong with Lucas, you? Come on. What is wrong with you? She's so strong. Oh. That was like a sensory deprivation tape. That's the target? That's the target? Hmm. So she's like a spy device. What is that? I have no idea. That's interesting. But this isn't like. Come on, wake up. That was weird because it like wasn't really the upside down in a way. It's like she wasn't in like a tank in the upside down, you know? Right. She projected her consciousness or something. Lucas, Lucas, how many fingers am I holding up? Let me see your head. Get off of me! Oh, Lucas. Oh, he's on. telling. Let him go. He's about to go snitch. Mm. Where's El? El! El! Eleven! I have like so many questions, but I just have to watch to get them answered. You know? Were you tired? Shut up. I heard something. A coyote. Oh God! Oh no! It's been hit by a car. We can't just leave it. Oh, that's so tough. This movie done turned into old Yeller over here. No. Oh. I'll do it. I I'm not nine anymore. Oh. I feel like something bad's gonna happen if he fires off that gun. This is scary. Why like Jonathan's gonna mess around and shoot Nancy in the freaking in the back or something? We got him pointing at her. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jesus, like <children>. Jonathan. <laughs> Gun safety freaking laws. Idiot. Where'd it go? Ugh. Uh uh. Slime. Jonathan. That tree needs a summer's eve. Ew. <laughs> Don't it? Bro, she ain't about to crawl in there, is she? After Jonathan didn't answer, you're just gonna that's your next move? After hanging out with with Steve for a night, she's a soldier. She ain't scared of nothing. Nancy, come on now. I wonder how that tree got the portal. 
the monster made it, I guess. Oh, because the deer is bleeding? Maybe so. I mean, the monster is just popping out that tree probably and stealing stuff. Probably took Will. Probably drug him through a tree. No, Will was in that shed. Oh, no, no. Ugh. You better go back through that tree. <gasps> ah! That thing had... Nancy! What was that? Bro, you better hope they find her. Nancy! They're blaming you. Nancy, where are you? Oh, Nancy! shoot. <gasps> Is she dead? No way. It sounds like he's crunching on her. No. No way, dude. Guys, listen. We ain't going nowhere. Uh, we got a whole nother episode that we need to watch, but we need to have a quick little discussion. If you don't want to listen to it, do, do that about seven or eight times, maybe 10, 12, and then we'll be done talking. Anyways, this episode is crazy. Uh, oh my gosh. A second chance Steve came back. He, I guess, wants to go on another date. She wasn't really feeling him, but then she's like, I don't know. She's just easily manipulated, I think. And then he just plays nice for one second. And then she's like, and then the that pack. happens <laughs> and then basically they want to put their compasses together because they want to go find like where's will where how do we get to what do they call it the upside down the shadow dimension i don't know the proper name for it off dungeons and dragons but the the, the shadow veil the veil of shadows yeah the veil of shadows <laughs> right um yeah i skipped dungeons and dragons i never got around to playing it don't know much about it other than a lot of people like mock it like a nerdy game but it's probably not you know what i mean it's just one of those things it's probably an ignorant opinion to assume that but anyways man they're looking for will l manipulated the mission uh the blood dripping from her nose when they was walking i should have put that together in real time should i yeah know? i should anytime you see a little driplet from her nose it probably means like she's, she's doing, doing something. something right yeah i was just thinking maybe since they were getting closer just the presence of it that's was what i thought her. too yeah i think that's what the show wanted us to think but yeah, anyway she was show. manipulating the compasses lucas got or not lucas lucas was actually just chilling but mike <laughs> and um what's his name dustin D huh mike you said Lucas was chilling, but there's only two other ones, Mike and Dustin. Yeah, Mike and Dustin got in a fight. Sorry, guys, I go, I'm bouncing a lot. But of it was, here. but it was Mike and Lucas. Right, Mike and Lucas got in a fight, and L basically used her powers. And I don't think she meant to do all that, but I think she has a hard time controlling them. It seems like doing small things affects her greatly because her nose is bleeding and all that. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's just because she's a youngin and she was going through those like you know those things with Papa or whatever is at Brenner. And well, she just, you know, didn't develop fully because she kind of left. Maybe she left him. Right. Before we get into that part, let's just talk about the fact that Hopper found a listening device in his house, man, in his single wide, which was a pretty cool single wide, by the way. Uh, if you're a single dude, man, definitely get you one of those by the late. But anyways, he found the listening device, went over to Joyce's. So they're completely bought into the conspiracy at this mm -hmm. point. Joyce is shocked to learn that Hopper said that he broke into the morgue dissected the body and realized it was a fake uh made of so now someone's like on her side finally right it's like someone's validating the fact that she's not completely psychotic so right. maybe with hopper's help she can because she can obviously well she's got energy for days i mean mm -hmm. she's up for it so maybe them paired together can maybe hopper can help her redirect her energy in a positive way right because but he'll he'll go punch everyone and figure it out he's gonna need her too though because he's having he, he looks like he's kind of losing it in a way too yeah. he kind of needs like he's obviously in need of like a lady figure which is why he called that lady and stuff so mm -hmm. he needs even if it's just like a platonic relationship in a way like i don't think they're into each other or anything then that could be just something that would be good for them. So, yeah. and then obviously she's going through it with stepdad pop or with dad popping back in the picture. He's I think dad just stepdad. left though, because she said, you know what? You're not about to use Will as some insurance collection. Bye. Right. He took off again. And ultimately I think the revelation of the episode was they sent L and what I thought was a sensory deprivation tank. I, I could be completely wrong, but that's just what I thought. Somehow or another, she went somewhere. I don't know that that was like, maybe there's like up here and then the upside down. So I don't know if she went maybe like in the middle beside the balance beam. Cause you know, they said above the balance yeah, beam. Yeah, it's like a void or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's like the ether or something, but she yeah. went there and slide. There was like a Russian. Yeah. The guy, the guy gave her the target brenner and he was like can you can you go in the bath or whatever and she was like yeah sure and i i was like this is gonna be an awkward scene bathing her but it was way different than that it was her getting submerged into a tub but the the tub reminded me like the connection she had reminded me of a lot of cerebro in a way 
Right. But then it was like, I know I'm making a lot of comparisons, but I don't have words to put into it. But like on Assassin's Creed, when you like make the final like assassination, you go into this like void where it's just you and that person. Yeah. It's really weird. It was just like that. Yeah, man, there's a lot of mysteries, basically. But I think the coolest part is that obviously there's a huge conspiracy going on. And, yeah. You know, and I mentioned it in previous episodes. The show could really dive into it. I mean, you could go Department of Energy and then you could go even bigger than that. You could go like just the government at large and then you could go to like the United Nations and then you could go, you know, like there's a lot of layers that you could get into, like the conspiracy of who's really behind all this and what they're trying to do. So I'm assuming that obviously they were trying to do some like some military stuff. So they were doing experiments to benefit them mil militarily and it basically just had this effect and they're trying to cover it up maybe it's just like, like a military like experiment that's cover the up. negative side of it like you can get this cool like you can be like a super spy and be cool but you also have to deal with like faceless monsters with multiple right. layers well because the government didn't come out and say hey guys mk ultra is the thing we're doing all these experiments with lsd and stuff on people's psychosis and all that they didn't come out and say any of that it wasn't until years later that it was uncovered just, yeah. right so I guess it's just a huge cover up, but um, the consequences of this one are huge. And I guess right. we saw the moment where they realized there was something else. I guess they developed science so far and they realized they could go to this void and spy on people. But then they discovered, I guess, the a upside monster. Down, yeah. Whatever that monster was, I thought the monster presided in the upside down, but I guess it presides in the, the void or whatever it is. So. I don't know what we should call that place. Let us That's know. That's just the what I'm going to call it right now: the void, yeah. the line, the yeah, tightrope. Like that. I, I would call it like the ether, maybe. I don't know. Just kind of have like an ether vibe, guys. I got burnt up in the sun the other day, man. Sorry, my nose is itching. All right, let's go. Next episode. Bah, bah. Yeah, I would rather watch the bathtub than the monster, though. That's the truth. Oh yeah, we didn't even Nancy! talk about the Nancy's missing. Nancy! Guys, Nancy's missing. Where are you? Oh no, she's not anymore. She's in there because the score is right. Nancy! Jonathan, where are you? Jonathan! I'm right here! I'm right here! Nancy! Um, That's what Will hears, huh? Nancy! Oh, she's right there, isn't she? Maybe. Come on, Will. Just reach in. I'm hoping Will's gonna hop out. Show her the way. Well, it can't see, so maybe she's just quiet. That's a Nancy hand. Oh my god, oh my god, get her out, get her out, get her out. Pull harder. She's about to come out missing a foot. Oh my gosh. So Will just needed like the guidance at the beginning, and maybe he could have like found that where he got in. Right. No one's gonna believe him. And she was like all bloody or something, right? So she's just gonna go home being bloody. They're gonna think she killed Barb. Man, you would hope you could go get a sample of that tested, but they'll probably lock you up, throw you in a dungeon. Yeah, especially with Dr. Brenner listening to everything. And Jonathan basically just won the girl, did he not? I mean, yeah, I saved her life. Sorry, Steve. Steve better pull her ass out of a bush next time. <laughs> Stranger thingy my bobs. So what the heck is Will supposed to eat the whole time he's missing? Like, them particles? <laughs> Man, I don't know. An upside down shape. I'm sorry I think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta think about food when it comes to, like, other dimensions. Yeah, you get mad at grocery stores all the time at me. When you're hungry. <laughs> Is the where the sunglasses? Why we're coming out here. She obviously doesn't want to talk that's, to you. That's not it. Oh, really? Because no girl would ever blow off King Steve. <laughs> she was acting weird. I mean, something's wrong. So what? Like, you're worried about her? What? Oh, Steve has a car. Shut up. Why do they hang out with her? Mm -hmm. Oh. What if it's her and Jonathan? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Putting the sweater on her, even? Oh, wrong timing. He looked kind of psychotic, didn't he? Mm-hmm. There was a laboratory it was where they must do experiments or something, and then there was there was this kid's room. How do you know it was a kid's room? More like a prison. Because I told you the size of the bed, there was a drawing, there was a stuffed you animal. You didn't say there was a drawing. Yeah, there was a drawing of a, an adult and a child. It said 11 on it. Was it good? It was a kid's drawing. It was stick figures. That wasn't Will. 
He was a great drawer. Yeah, he drew he drew full wizards. Wasn't Will. Yeah, he got the detail and everything. That's Gandalf, right? I thought so. The night that Benny died, Earl said he saw some kid with a shaved head with Benny. This woman, Terry Ives, she claims to have lost her daughter, Jane. She sued Brenner, she sued the government, now the claims came to nothing. But what if, I mean, what if this whole time I've been, I've been looking for Will? I've been chasing after some other kid. Oh, it was just coincidental. He's looking for 11. Jonathan Byers gonna slip something in your drink. That's what I'd be thinking. <laughs> Is this okay? Oh, I found him in the closet. I can go home. I, I just yeah, figured. no, uh, I don't want to be alone. Oh, what a gentleman! Steve would have never. <laughs> Steve would have been like, "What pallet? What bed?" Steve would have already been in that bed. Right. Can you just come up here? <laughs> He's like, "What the heck?" Yeah. What if her parents like come in? <laughs> Do you want the lights off or not? It can't get us in here. Why can't it? Yeah, like, what do you know about it? We don't know that. What you looking at, Jonathan? He's looking to be Big Spoon. Oh, yeah, Eleven's missing. I forgot about that. Yeah, she walked off. I thought he was about to find something out. Mm-hmm. Great, thanks. Really appreciate this, Frank. Such a cowboy, huh? <laughs> Did you get it? Got it. He's definitely the guy from No Country from Old Men. You know what? The guy's like, I'm gonna take you in that back room and <laughs> screw you. <laughs> Thanos? Couldn't sleep. Every time I close my eyes, I just keep seeing that thing. Oh, I would too, though. I think that it lives there. Who's feeding there? If Will and Barbara. My mom said she talked to Will. If he's alive, there's a chance Barbara is too. That means that she's trapped in that place. That'd be so scary. We have to find it again. You want to go back out there? When I saw it, he was feeding on that deer, meaning it's it's a predator, right? And it seems to hunt at night like a, a lion or a coyote, but it doesn't hunt in packs like that. Man. It's always alone, like. Like a bear, the deer. I was pleading too. Sharks can detect blood in one part per million. That's one drop of blood in a million, and they can smell it from a quarter mile away. Insane. So you're saying it can detect blood? Maybe. It's just a theory. We could test it. If it works. What are they gonna do? Get a paper cut and run out there? Mm -hmm. Honey, are you up? I'm getting dressed. I uh, made some blueberry pancakes. Hmm. I'll be down in a second. It scared the mess out of me. <laughs> Aww. Your mom doesn't knock. Hi, Scott Clark? Uh, yes. The same Scott Clark who teaches science and AV at Hawkins Middle? The very same. What we're trying to do here, Scott, is to connect kids from all over the state and give them the support and encouragement to pursue careers in technology. They need mm -hmm. them young minds so to be working <clears> on them. Kids you think might mm -hmm. want to participate? Oh. I think she's up to the field of Point us in the right direction, teacher. That's crazy. She just must have become just because she wanted to protect us. She didn't betray us. Mike, calm down. I shouldn't have yelled at her. Yeah, it's Lucas's. Wasn't his fault either. So you're saying he wasn't way out of line? Totally, but so are you. What? And so is Eleven. Oh, give me a break. No, Mike, you give me a break. All three of you were being a bunch of little assholes. I was the <laughs> only reasonable one. You push first, and you know the rule. You draw first blood. No, no way. I'm not shaking his hand. You're shaking his hand. No, I'm not. This isn't a discussion. This is the rule of law. Obey <laughs> or be banished from the party. Do you want to be banished? Some good friends, though. <laughs> Holding each other I accountable. Know. Where are we going? I love it. What do you think? We're going to get Lucas. And then we're going to find Eleven. Flashbacks. Oh, there's that lion. Some pansies. Today is a very special day. Because today, we make history. We make contact. And he gave her the nose boob. I don't love that. Boop. <laughs> I don't love that at all, Papa. You a bad Papa. My room sucks. <laughs> One of them two hots in a cot type rooms. <laughs> I 
Just ditch the wig. Uh oh, uh oh. They migrated because she yelled so loud. That's crazy. Where's Nancy? I thought she was coming down. She is. I don't know. Nancy, what's taking so long? They're married. Blows, Nancy? Dude. What are her and Jonathan doing in there? They're probably not even in there. They probably snuck out. Oh, yeah. Nancy. The kid's dumb. Clean up the palette. I know. All you had to do is throw it in the closet. But at least it looked like a respectable guest. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I drew first blood, so. He got Hulk smash, though. Okay. I'll shake. On one condition. We forget the weirdo and go straight to the gate. Then the deal's off. Fine! Fine! No, no, not fine. Guys, seriously? <laughs> do you even remember what happened on the Bloodstone Pass? <laughs> we couldn't agree on what path to take, so we split up the party, and it all went to shit, and we were all disabled! But this is the party right here in this room. Elle's one of us now. Um, no, she's not. She's a liar, a traitor. She was just trying to keep us safe. She didn't mean to hurt you. It was an accident. An accident? Uh, accident or not, admit it, it was a little awesome. Awesome? <laughs> yeah, she threw you in the air with her mind. I could have been killed. Which is exactly why we need her. She's a weapon. If you two want to waste your time looking for a traitor, go ahead. I'm going to the gate. I'm going to find Will. Oh, he really dislikes that girl, don't he? He ain't liked her from day one. And he was like in his own house and pushed him out of the way. Right. Dude, yeah, y'all need to call defects for her. Uh-oh, someone's going to talk on the phone about it. You'll never guess what I saw at the store today. Don't be frightened. These are all friends. Stay in here, like before. Now remember, whatever it is, it can't hurt you. It's reaching out to you, because it wants you. They're gonna make her confront that thing. The Demigorgon? Whatever it is. Not the Russian guy. So don't turn away from it this time. I want you to find it. You better hurry up and get that on. She's a, geez, that was close. Do you think that's like weights on the front of her so she can like stay down? Yeah, obviously, yeah. Obviously. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That's kind of rude. Is your mom here? Mouth breather. <laughs> Dang. She learned that from Mike. Dang. Call the police. You know you have to pay for those. Hey, stop right <laughs> Oh, right right they're gonna know you're Thief. there. Thief. She needs the boys. They they keep her from going psycho. She needs a snicker bar is what she needs. I mean, she doesn't really know how to conduct herself. I mean, yeah, you saw her papa. Can I help you? I'm willing for Terry Ives. Does she live here? And you want to talk to my sister. If you want Terry to tell you anything, you're about five years too late. Oh, no, what's that supposed to mean? My name's Joyce Spires. Oh, no. This is Hopper. We drove over from Hawkins. My son, he's been missing for almost a week now. And um, we were wondering if we could talk to you about your daughter, Jane. What was your relationship with Dr. Brenner? What's wrong with her? I told you, you're wasting your time. So Jane is 11, right? Mm -hmm. Combat. This jacket is dope. Was that a Levi's jacket? <laughs> oh, you can't trust them. Yeah, you really can't. A kid riding off the battle. You should have shaken my hand. He's just jealous. What are you talking about? Sometimes your total obliviousness just blows my mind. He's your best friend, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's fine, I get it. I didn't get here until the fourth grade. He had the advantage of living next door, but none of that matters. What matters is that he is your best friend. That's and then this girl shows up yeah. and starts living in your basement. And all you ever want to do is pay attention to her. That's not true. Yes, it is. But no one ever says anything until you both start punching and yelling at each other like goblins with intelligence scores of zero. <laughs> now everything's weird. He's not my best friend. I mean, he is, but so are you. And so is Will. Can't have more than one best friend. Says who? Says logic. Why call bull on your logic? Because you're my best friend too. 
Aww. Okay. <laughs> you don't think? Uh, definitely. Yeah, nothing goes on in that town. Because if I saw that, I definitely would just be like, oh, I got robbed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I guess it did get robbed in this world, but. She was a part of some study in college. MK Ultra. By the time Terry got involved, it was supposed to be ramping down, but the drugs just got crazier. This was the CIA that ran this? The man with a big capital M. They'd pay you know, a couple hundred bucks to people like my sister, give them drugs, psychedelics, and then they'd strip her naked and put her in these isolation tanks. You lose any sense of uh, sense, feel oh, nothing, yeah. see nothing. They wanted to <laughs> expand the boundaries of the mind. Real hippie crap. The thing is, though, is that she didn't know she was pregnant at the time. Do you have any pictures of her? You don't think Eleven's the daughter of this lady, do you? Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh. I said, do you think Eleven's Jane because they're looking Karen for... Miscarried in the right, life sorry. Minister. Babe, I'm so sorry. It's the, you know how I don't be listening to you. <laughs> no, I was just trying to focus on this, and I, you know, sometimes it's hard. Well, to I just thought because they're li like, why is she going to a lady who has a daughter if it's not Eleven's mom? I guess y'all got to see her reaction to that dawning upon her. Am I? <laughs> so that's what's up. My bad. Terry uh, pretends like Jane is real, like she's gonna come home someday, born with abilities. <laughs> Abilities? What, what kind of abilities? Telepathy, telekinesis... Whoa. You know, shit you can do with your mind. That's why the big bad man stole Jane away. <laughs> Her baby's a weapon of fighting the commies. Do you think there's any chance she could be telling the truth? There's no birth certificate, nothing from the Whoa. hospital. Doctors and nurses all confirmed that she miscarried. You and Terry would have gotten along. That's crazy. Those clowns are so scary. <laughs> That's what you were thinking. I was thinking it's crazy how the doctor could just steal your baby like that. Right, so sh the, the thing is I wasn't sure if that was actually her dad, that guy, because mm -hmm. I didn't know if he was like doing some bad stuff with the patients. Mm -hmm. Man. Probably not, he probably just, she probably got pregnant in college or something. And they just stole Jane, yeah. 11. Why you take for is that a bear trap? That might work. Yeah, but what happens if you accidentally step in it? You're gonna catch that thing on fire. <laughs> and uh, four boxes of uh, 38s. <laughs> There's some preppers. That's expensive. What are kids doing with all this? Monster hunting. It's <laughs> 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 like snipe hunting. You know, last week I was shopping for a new top I thought Steve might like. It took me and Barb all weekend. Now. You're shopping for bear traps with Jonathan Byers. <laughs> What's the weirdest part? Me or the bear trap? You. <laughs> Definitely you. Can't wait to see your movie. What the hell is that? What movie? What? Hey, where are you going? What is happening? <laughs> that was Steve. Cause he tried to take her to that. Steve's wild, bro. They're just painting it everywhere. Well, it was Tommy, but Steve's standing there. Why would you ask your friends to do that? How petty. Oh, hey there, princess. Oh, she ain't scared uh -oh. of y'all no more. She looks upset. Oh! What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I was worried about you. You don't want to be known as the lion uh -oh. slut now, do you? Speak of the devil. You came by last night. Ding, ding, ding. Does she get a prize? Uh -uh. Look, I don't know what you think you saw, but it wasn't like that. What, you just let him in your room to study? We were just... You just want to finish that sentence. Monster hunting. Go to hell, Nancy. Come on, Nancy, let's just leave. You know what, Bob? I'm actually kind of impressed. I always took you for a queer, but I guess you're just a little screw-up like your father. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you really heard any. You know, yeah. I guess you shouldn't really be surprised. A bunch of screw ups in your Jonathan, family. I mean, I mean, I'm not even surprised Jonathan, what happened to your brother. It. I'm sorry, I have to be the oh, no. Myers, Their family is a Come disgrace on. to the entire. Ooh. Ooh. Finally, again. Oh. You even let him. Man, you should have hit him again. Let's go, Jonathan. Get up, Full mouth, stop, elbow. Stop. <laughs> get here, he's there you go, Jonathan. Jonathan. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Caught him. Hopefully it's just Hopper. Grab the cops, man. 
think he's had enough, man. I said he's had enough! My nose! Man, shut your ass up. My nose. Come here, Dang, then Jonathan's gonna get arrested. Get back here, you little punk. Locked up for no reason, man. What is that? He got locked up for no reason, man. Well, thank you for He's your just time. He's just defending himself. Yep, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Good luck. Thank you. We're gonna find him. Yeah, like Terry found her daughter. We're close. You know what I would give for a chance? Hmm. Yeah, a fight broke out here and- Cal, I don't have time for this. It's Johnson Byers. You haven't seen Joyce, have you? We have time for that. As a matter of fact, she's right here. <laughs> Do you think we'll be out of here soon? You, yes. Him, no. He assaulted a police officer. You and your boyfriend have big plans, do you? He's not my boyfriend. I think you better tell him that. Only love makes you that crazy, sweetheart. Dang, Nance. Sounds nice. He's tough like a damn mongoose, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> the vibe I get. How did she get to talk to him? He's locked up. I know. Man, they'd have me in a cell. Yeah. I'd be laying on the floor next to a fine. toilet somewhere. <laughs> they had me locked up. Oh no, not the tree holes. Face. What's the odds? Running into your bullies in the middle of the woods. With a knife. Armed bullies. Those kids are psychotic too. Oh no. Elle's gonna pull up. Oh, his little compass. He's at that science place, isn't he? Is the gate? Yeah, absolutely. Oh shoot. There's your disturbance right there. No way. If he sneaks in here. Wave to someone in that van. <laughs> Crap! Just keep going. <laughs> no. Keep going. No. Don't hurt him. Shit. Oh no, shot. Ugh. Them kids are playing too much. <laughs> no, if they cut him, then the Get monsters gonna come. Go. What do you want? I want to know how you did it. How I'm just thinking about what? aiming right now. I know now. you did something to me. Some nerdy science shit to make me do that. You mean piss your pants? I think I should save mm. Toothless here a trip to the dentist. Help him lose the rest of his baby teeth. Let him go! I'll let him go. But first, it's your turn. Wet yourself. Oh, you're about to what? get thrown. Jump. Oh. Our oh. Toothless here gets an early trip to the dentist. No. no shot. I'll cut him right now. All right, just hold on. Hold on. Mike, don't do it. I don't need my baby teeth. Mike, Mike, seriously, don't. Cause that's right where Will is found, right? In that. And they were talking about how you can't survive that fall. Cause like, obviously. Man, look at that. I'm just waiting for Eleven to pull up, man. Don't do Come it. on. Seriously, don't do it, man. Troy, how this is a good idea, man. Four. Five. <gasps> he actually did it. No. Holy shit. So L got to him. Right? Had to have. <laughs> Ow. There she goes. Make him pee himself again. Ooh. She Ooh. broke my arm. Let's get out of here. Let's go. go. Yeah, that's right. You better run. <laughs> These are running, deep crazy. You come back here, she'll kill you. You hear me? Oh no. Uh uh, don't go talk to that. That was like venom. <laughs> what is it eating? Don't disrupt it. This is the contact he's talking about. I 
opened it. She did it. I'm the monster. Mm. No, you saved me. Do you understand? Dang, he was going to die for his boy, though. He's like, you ain't about to become the Joker on my watch. Right. So L freaked out at the moment of contact and freaked out so bad that it opened up the yeah. portal. Whoa. So now those monsters just can just come in and out. I have eyes on them now. Pop the They're tires, though. Pop the tires. So they wanted to put L down, huh? She's like their little war machine, their spy agent. We well, either want to put her down or take her. Obviously, they probably want to take her back. Look, they don't even care about a stop sign. Oh my gosh. Oh, we can't get enough Stranger Things. This show's good. All right, guys. So Stranger Things is going crazy. It turns out Ella's a monster, man. So let me get this headphone out. She basically made contact and it scared her so much that she released so much energy. And because she basically got scared, right? So she released so much energy, I think, that she basically opened the gate. So absolutely nice. What do you think about this episode? Babe? I thought a lot of the mysteries we have, especially with Elle, kind of were... Answered like, a little bit. Answered a little. Right, yeah, yeah. To, to the extent. And we also kind of, I mean, it's good that Hopper kind of realized that he's not really looking for Will. He was actually been looking for Elle without kind of knowing it. Right. So we got some development there. We met Elle's mom. Or at least I think it's Elle's mom. I mean, the show made it obviously pretty clear that it was yeah. her mom. Unless there's a twist later. But so we definitely got to meet her mom. Um, pretty developmental episode. So we, we made some character development, man, because Jonathan basically rescued Nancy. Uh, so mm -hmm. I think that we got a little further into the chemistry there with those yes. two characters for sure. And Nancy's really going to trust Jonathan a lot more now that Jonathan honestly saved Basically her. Basically didn't leave her, protected. leave her yeah. in the tree because he could have just left her in the tree. Right. She's going to feel, I think, safe and protected. Whereas with Steve, he was always pushing her. I mean, Jonathan didn't, you know, just dive in head first, but he definitely didn't run. I feel like Steve would have freaked out and ran. Don't you think? <laughs> I, I don't really know. I don't know about Steve. Steve decided he was just going to pop in on her and just make sure she was doing okay by scaring the crap out of her and just popping up in her window. But I guess he thinks that they have that type of relationship where he can just do that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately he saw her with Jonathan mm -hmm. and he was hitting her with the the sensitive, I'm just gonna like make sure your shoulders are warm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just could be in the just, complete opposite It's just not what you wanna walk up onto. <laughs> so Hopper realized that he's looking for Elle in this episode, which was a crazy development. Oh, Nancy and John slept in bed together. It's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> That's some good development. Uh, the government came in and met the teacher. The government basically slid up and was trying to... Well, I think that was the government. Yeah, it was pretty obviously. Well, the Department of Energy is the government. Yeah, but w did she get out of that van? Is that why? She's the government. She basically came in and pretended like she was doing some like outreach program or something for like kids education or something. Because they were picking up that signal from that like little radio thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And so they came in and was like, hey, point us in the, in the right direction. Like, do you have any kids at the school that are technologically advanced to know how to like do all this stuff? He's like, I sure do. I have the perfect right. candidates for you. Because those kids might know L. And huh? we love those kids and we want the best for them. So we're going to hand you over to the enemy. Because <laughs> he didn't know, right? So, and then another thing is Lucas denied the handshake with um, Dustin. <laughs> Dustin, which sucked. And No, not Dustin. The, Mike. Yeah, Mike. I was about to say it was Dustin it. made him. <laughs> right. Mike was down for the handshake, even though he was reluctant to do so. But no handshake was had. So that sent Lucas on a solo mission, which kind of sucks. So. He ended up finding the Department of Energy, and hopefully he doesn't get taken. But from his perspective, what we saw was him looking through the binoculars and seeing, like, military officials. So from him, his point of view, he just realizes, like, this is big. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. dude. Yeah. Elle, on the other hand, was missing. She ended up stealing. She was, obviously, she's someone who... She was waffly hungry. <laughs> she was waffly hungry. She <laughs> likes frozen waffles like my son used to. Yeah. I, I made him quit eating them after, like... About 10 of them. I was like, it's kind of <laughs> gross. But anyways, uh, she was enjoying those things, and she needs guidance. She needs friends. She needs someone to take social cues from because she just is not shy about flashing her powers. But I guess she just doesn't understand that if she presents her powers like that, then the people, the forces, you know, that are looking for her are going to find her. So, you know, or I don't maybe know. Maybe she does, but she's just very, like, like, she doesn't have someone to check her impulses or something. Maybe so. I don't know. Oh, we did meet her mom, though. What was her name? I wrote it down. Terry it was Terry Ives. Ives. That was a big fight, man. John and Steve got into a fight. 
John ended up getting arrested because Steve can run faster. John's too <laughs> honest of a guy. He was like, hey, Steve took off. And they got in a fight. Jonathan won, which was impressive to see. I was pretty happy because basically Steve went around and called Nancy a... You said... No. Anyways, I don't want to say it because you know what I'm saying? All the girls are going to hop on me and beat mm-hmm. me up. So what else? Uh, the boys came up and they made him basically jump off the cliff. He actually did it. So he was definitely willing to jump off the cliff for his friend. So that was actually pretty cute to see in a way. But like, what are cute. you doing, kid? No, that well, was It was so cute sad. to see how no. like down he was for his friend. Right. Because he, he said, you know what? Lucas isn't really my best friend. Dustin is you too. And Dustin was like. He was so happy Aww, about it, and yeah. then he proved it. He yeah, really he proved did it. Prove it. He really. You're right. I just wish they. I thought that part was really cute. Their lives that like part that. was insane and psychotic. <laughs> Them bullies are absolutely crazy. Uh, but anyways, man. Tro- but, Troy might have to get pushed through a little tree. Right, and then Mike jumped off. Elle saved him. Realized that she's the monster. Crazy episode. Oh Do my we miss goodness, anything? Yeah. That, okay. This has developed so far. I just didn't want to miss any of the highlights. But anyways, guys, let's just talk about the episode now. More in a free type of way. But crazy episode, man. I do feel like the characters have come a long way since we first met them. You mm-hmm. know, uh, Jonathan went from someone who literally couldn't talk to a refrigerator handle, and now he's sleeping in bed with Nancy. Mm-hmm. And he was staring at that booty too. I saw him. He <laughs> wanted, <laughs> he wanted a big spoon it, but he was scared. He was very scared. Um. That's okay, though. They'll get there, hopefully. Anyways, I just want to see her with him because Steve kind of seems like a douche, right? Right. I don't, okay. Steve's just kind of annoying, and Steve's friends are annoying. Yeah, well, why are they friends with that girl who's always smacking her lips like that? I don't know. Like, who wants to be friends with her? Anyways, so definitely some character development. Apparently, the, the Demigorgon can come out of trees. He can open up dimensions. I guess he has, like, some type of power where he can choose to open the dimensions and stuff. And that's why he was able to... Because I think what he did was he sealed off the tree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but how like, did he do that? He don't even look like he can think. Because he doesn't have a brain? He just looks like he's like... Maybe his brain's in his stomach. He looked like oh. a Venus flytrap or something. Yeah, you know? that's what I thought, too. A Venus flytrap face. Kind of scary. Is that a creature from Dungeons & Dragons? Let us know. But anyways, so... Uh, she she's seen it so she's gonna be coping with the whole idea that she just discovered this place mm-hmm. i don't think jonathan actually saw it well jonathan dragged her out of it so he, he definitely knows dragged her real. out but he didn't stick his head in there right and i guess hopper is helping jonathan's mom now so right. they're kind of i really love like that dialogue the right there with him and joyce in the car because he said you know if there's a chance you need to take it you, like, because if he had the chance, he would definitely take it. Yeah, he said he'd do anything for a chance, just to feel like there's a there's a piece there's a of little hope. hope. Yeah, right. Just so we'll make, find out more about his daughter through that. Yeah, like when you're someone who's in such a desperate position like that, kind of like Hopper is. You know, some people dream about going on vacation or winning the lottery or you know going to eat the best food. But when you're that person, like you're right, like your fantasy is to just feel hope again. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's pretty tough. But we're not any closer to finding Will. No. I don't know where he is. Well, the last two episodes, we don't know anything except for we learned that the Upside Down's a thing. Well, we haven't seen him be eaten, so I guess he's hiding in the Upside Down. Right, but he hasn't communicated in the past two episodes, which is like, I feel like Will's communication is the the symbolism that he's alive. Like, he's hiding. He's not found yet. Well, I took the deer. The Demogorgon was eating the deer. I don't know how often he eats, but in my mind, if he's so hungry that he could eat a deer, maybe it's because he hasn't eaten a will. But he did right. eat a barb. You think he ate barb? I don't know how he could eat barb and will. That's a lot of food. Uh, I don't know how much he requires. You maybe know the deer was the snack. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe like barb was the appetizer. So basically, we know if Is she dead? blood. I don't know if she's dead. I feel like she got ripped up. I mean, no, she but hasn't so been Will. talking, though. We haven't heard from her. Who would she be talking to? Probably. I thought Joyce, she'd be trying to talk to Nancy. Joyce would be like, shut up, Barb. I'm trying to talk to my son. I thought she would be trying to talk to Nancy. No, nah, Nancy's too busy. She's caught between a, uh, a Steve and a hard place right now. <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. I'm having so much fun with Conspiracyville. I just think it's very interesting how Elle is ultimately just some type of... Experiment. Kinda. I don't know what she is. She's a product of an experiment. Yeah, I mean. And then I guess when they realized that she, so she's a product of the experiment. When they realized she was like had all these crazy talents, they used them and like pushed them further because apparently her 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 powers can push boundaries. I don't know if they pushed her powers further. I don't know if they have no idea the extent of her powers. You know, I, I have no idea. But what I do know is, 
she's somehow projecting her consciousness and she's using like i don't know man she's using like I wish that I knew what you guys were going to call this place, like the ether, the shadow realm, whatever you want to call it, man. But she's somehow or another projecting her consciousness, which I think is insane. So um, I can see why they're after her. Yeah. But to be honest, if she's that powerful, I feel like that'd be a bigger effort. But I guess the whole idea is they, but they're being, they have to be discreet because they right. don't they're trying to not even look like anything's happening in there. Right. They look like a damn <laughs> uh, the Stanley cleaner, the Stanley steamer cleaner van or whatever. Yeah, heck. but I'm still you know what they about those people? They're weird because when they were when they just dropped that bo stuffed animal body, like I just can't get past how weird that was. Like, where did you get the flesh? How did you do that? And why did you do that? I mean, if you if you take all your best and smartest people and all your resources you'd be pretty amazed what you could do so what do you think they three you know they mean? 3d like, printed that little boy this was like 1950. I, they have wax figures i mean i'm not saying he was made of wax but i'm just saying they have wax figures you can't even tell aren't real people you know i mean i'm just saying man like with 3d printing and the fabric industry you know what i'm saying <laughs> like the, them sewing needles are a lot different but in the 80s be, well i guess i think the whole idea is is well i think the whole idea though is society was living in the 80s but the government's in 2075 right, you know right, what i mean right. like if they have like mind control and mk ultra and all this stuff back then you know i mean these people were the or it could have just been a dead experiment like, a, like or a dead experiment that kid could have been and they just stuffed him or something. i don't know i have no idea man uh i don't really think we're supposed to think that much into it <laughs> you know what i mean i'm pretty sure that I we're just, supposed to just you know when like, you oh, just can't it. get past something that's like one of them I'm i like, can't what? get past what? the what? nerds riding around in the, the stanley steamer cleaner vans <laughs> or whatever you want to call them you guys know what i'm talking about right the carpet cleaning vans yes those used to be a thing back in the day yeah are they still a thing yeah it's are tough they... on dirt gentle on carpet that's the Stanley did you used to work for them or something? No, <laughs> no, I used to watch commercials when they were on. Nowadays, you can buy your own carpet cleaner. So I just, you know, and they're pretty affordable at this point. They're pretty, you know. But they're necessary. Yeah, absolutely they are. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> Every time you start dragging your butt across the floor like a dog, I got to use it. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm just playing. Uh, definitely for like toddlers, you got to have a carpet cleaner because like if your toddler throws up or something in the carpet, you have to have one. So we have a really nice one. I would definitely suggest investing in one if you're like an adult. And <laughs> you if know? you have dogs as well. Anyways, um, what are we talking about here? So Stranger Things went crazy. Basically, we have two more episodes left of the season. Jeez. Which is kind of crazy. How many how many seasons are out? Do you have any idea? Four. Four. Fifth one is in development. So are all seasons going to be like 10 episodes or whatever? eight episodes this is gonna be an easy watch if so because these go by literally super fast i mean these are so they're intriguing through and through like from yeah, start to are. finish you just want to be like huh, huh there's like not a lot of filler they're yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah guys we are liking stranger things thank you guys so much for hanging out we still didn't find will man so you guys didn't like the video enough to be honest i blame you guys so it's please just will still lost like the video man we got to find will we got to find will it, we can find them dead alive or i guess if you're in that world i don't even know if you are dead or alive i don't even know if that and concept. comment below where you think he is the most wrong answer wins <laughs> yeah let us know in the comments man if you're someone who's watching this for the first time with us and you know you're sitting here waiting on us to put the episodes out because you want to watch it that's the coolest thing I, I do think that there is something really special about people who come on and watch series for the first time with us i guess y'all are just some real ones you know what i'm saying but you know if you've seen the series and you're here to support us watching it you know thank that's you guys so cool much too. that's awesome just uh thank you guys so much for the support man just like the video that's really about all you can do for us and it means the world to us and we'll be back with more stranger things we'll Can't see you guys wait. on the next one